Hey guys, uh, Hi welcome. This is Wednesday at Hop, level two, week two, October 2015. I'm Andrew. And I'm Hannah. All right, uh, let's get started. So we started off class with a routine, which involved uh, some moves from last week, and one tiny itty bitty new move. So right. Starts off with a uh, an inside turn pass by. A six count pass by into a swing out. This one again. And then we did Hop. this where it's a catch Hop. in the back Hop. with a send out. Hop. Hop. And then the last move was a rock step. Rock, rock step, step break. break. And it's a cool four count rock step break. Make it your own at the end there. Yeah. Cool. And then uh, we did a little bit of a turning workshop. Yeah, turns. OK, so we worked on turns. And so if you want to practice your turns at home, just remember that turns for one, f a pivot, one foot pivot turns, you start off by doing a quarter turn around, and then a half turn, and then do three fourths turn, and then work away, work all the way up to a full turn. Or if you really want to, a double turn, which I'm not going to do right now. Um, and this is important because we do some moves later on that are one foot turn. Also do it on the opposite foot. And then we also worked on going down the line with triple step turns. So we triple stepped through right. a line. Triple step, triple step. Um, so to make sure that you're spotting and like you're, you have a point on the wall and you're going straight. So this all leads into? Um, yes, so one of the, we, then we gave a spiel about kind of phrasing, 32 counts, and we introduced the concept of four count moves and how they can be very useful. And one of the four count moves that uh, we showed you, uh, we put it in a little bit of a sequence to make it easier. So we started off with a sugar push. Oh, we also reviewed sugar pushes, right? Yeah. Um, one more time. And then we went boop, boop, ha. And then we ended that with an inside pass by. From this side, sugar push. And boom, boom, leads, hand, uh, leads left to follows right. And that inside pass by again. And then we did a uh, uh, different variation of that, right. where once again, it starts from a sugar push. But we, instead of the lead turning on his left hand, he's turning on his right hand. Right. And so. So we're going to start with that sugar push again. And we go boom, boom, ha. Actually, it makes more sense. It makes more well. sense to show yeah. it from this side. OK. So a sugar push, right? Da, 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 ha, ha. Oh, whoa, I lost oh. it. It's OK. One That's more time. Fine. Sugar push. And we go, ha, ha, wee, rock ha. step. And that pass by from that very open position, you want to skim that again. Yeah. And then we moved on to uh, some practice, moving on with you know, mixing and matching. And the last thing we did was from the week, uh, we introduced this the week before as well. And that starts out with this rock step to the side. Uh, I guess the best way to show it, maybe at an angle. Uh, yeah, let's do it at yeah, the side okay. angle. Yeah. So we rock step, and then we go down the line. And we talked about those turning drills earlier. And this is another reason, especially you know, for leads, to why you need to know how to turn well. And so we talked about how leads, you got to make sure to come around and stop that if you want to. Uh, make sure that you're ready to catch. And then we did a slight variation where we hit a slide instead. And we go rock step, triple step, slide. And this is cool because it can either be lead initiated, in which the follow knows it's going to be the lead because I'm watching. There's not really a hand movement for that. Or I could literally just do it whenever I want to out of that move. Um, mm -hmm. The lead doesn't necessarily have to be doing that. Um, note to both leads and follows, make sure to turn underneath yourself. Don't be like trying to race across the room. Last thing uh, we practiced or we did do a lot of feedback in this class, and that's definitely uh, an attitude we want to encourage uh, for future classes and all of your learning. So thanks so much, guys, and we'll see you next week.